Right people, hello. I'm in the car. I don't want to disturb the family I'm staying with here. Um, it appears that people are in my Sovereign Solicitors group and they don't actually know what the group is for. Um, I'm not angry and I'm more composed than I was yesterday when I did a random spontaneous outline of the group, what we can facilitate, what I'd like to achieve, what I'm fighting for, what I'm trying to educate you on and why I'm doing it. So. Um, we are, I believe, all sovereign people of the landmass England. I am a self-ruling monarch. Um, I don't think I'm anything special. I'm just employing the birthright of which I've got as a man, not a person or citizen, living on the landmass England. Um, I'm upset, to be honest, about the flack I'm getting and the negative comments. Um, if you don't enjoy the post or you haven't read the post and you don't know what you're commenting on, then this is exactly why I've set up the group. The group has been set up so people can understand and learn the knowledge for free that you cannot buy, that the solicitors won't tell you, the law society won't tell you. You can hire a solicitor like I did and pay 20 grand to get access to your blood, your property, your children. And I am disgusted that my barrister did not tell me about common law, harm, injury, loss and fraudulent doings. The black robes that I paid money to, my hard earned money and two years of my time to get access to my children did not help me. This is how I got into it. This is why I'm disgusted with them, let alone all the other stuff that I rambled on about. My apologies, but it was just something that needed to be done because I've put nine months into this group. I've accumulated 500 and something people in there. I believe we all have a common interest. I believe that we all want the same thing. We are all being oppressed by our government. We are all slaves to the debt. We can get out of this and it's a lawful way of doing it. There is unlawful ways of which the government is operating in and all I'm doing is pointing these out to you. So if you do not like what I'm doing or you do not understand the gravity of the situation which the corporation England, the Queen Elizabeth, the, the, the monarchy that rules England, that presides over it, the court system which is a religious system, the judge who sits there as a banker and not actually a judge, we can talk to these people and we can manage the situation effectively and lawfully and cheaply and freely without spending lots of time and lots of money. In my group I have spent the last nine months putting all the videos, documentation, and people that I've spoken to, people that I've made friends with, links for all the data and information. I'm willing to help stop bailiffs come to take your property, your possessions, your seized goods to the value of. The TV license people are running a scam on us. The Yorkshire Water people, Seven Trent people are running a scam on you. The local authorities, namely your council, is a representative of your local government. These people are not acting lawfully. They are acting legally in an unlawful way. So please, I cannot stress this enough. Look in my group first before you try to shoot me down and comment on things which you think may be lawful or legal when you do not understand the the difference between law and legal for a start. You're like the policemen. They come to you and they don't understand or they do understand, but they are merely the, in the in, what would you call them? They are the grasses. They inform the Crown State upon of your person's activity. You can choose whether to be a person or a citizen or a man or a woman, depending on the circumstances. So the Crown agents, yes, Lee, you are right, brother. The Crown agents for the, the courts and also the local local government offices are acting unlawfully and they're taking you for a ride. I for one, after having suffered harm, injury and loss at the hands of our government and under statute law, now fully understand this. I've spent eight years doing this since I lost contact with my children. There is no other subject nearer and dearer to my heart than this. And since that has happened, I have then found out about currency. I found out about the monarchy. I found out about lineage and history and what actually has been going on for time and time again. I know where the council tax money is going. We are buying rockets as a country and we are causing war on innocent countries, I believe, in the name of resource domination, to steal the goods from people to, so we can profit. But the English person doesn't profit. The people making these rules and supposedly ruling us are profiting from it. So we do actually have the ability to reclaim your dominion and reclaim your birthright as a man or a woman. And the government does work for us, surprise, surprise. It isn't a system of which we need to bow to. We are 
up we are the upkeep of these people's living they do not pay tax they do not work they do not slave nine to five and they enjoy all the liberties of which we provide now i don't know how else to put this but we need to stand up as one and we need to we need to stop it and you need to go to my group and search for sovereign solicitors i've made it closed now I did appoint certain people and make it open and things got out of hand and I'm not sure what Facebook's game was and they made me change my name from David of the family Jeremita to David Jeremita. I can see what's happening. I don't really like using Facebook but this is the biggest and best platform for me to do this on. I have got a YouTube channel of which there is over 2,500 video links to all the relevant information and documentation. You need to look at John Harris, you need to look at Carl Lentz, you need to to look at Winston Shrout. You need to look at the Levi guy that I've put on the, on there as well. You need to look at my playlist and comprehend it. The best time for you to do this is when you go into bed. But you know, some people get riled up with this at a bedtime, and you know they don't have time in the day to do it because you're too busy being a debt slave to the system. So. Um, my apologies, I did get some things wrong yesterday in my 20 minute random rant that was, you know, a bit spontaneous, but I can't keep typing stuff out, I've got too much to do, my life is very busy, I'm a working man myself and you just, you guys have got all the love in the world for you and I will gladly and freely provide you all the documentation and help you need. I will, uh, I will be your advocate. I will go to court with you. I will be your McKinsey friend. I will, I will not stress this enough. If you do not follow the law to the letter, you will make a big mistake, and they will take you down. Um, ignorance of the law is no defence. If we continue to ignorantly pay taxes to this Nazi regime, we will pay dearly. The rest of the world will not stand by for much longer as our taxes buy bombs. That uh, oh, it says see more, but yes, you're right, Lee. There, our, bo our, bomb our money is buying bombs and killing families. The clock is ticking, they are realizing we're waking up. The Illuminati and the controlling families, and the Rothschilds, and the Rockefellers, and all the big corporations. The government now, a British government, is actually prioritizing the uh, law to, to look after the corporations first rather than us. We are the people, we can rise up and we can kick these people out and start again. Personally, I don't think we need government. Government is just taking from us and not giving the contract have. It's not fulfilled. They have an obligation. The councils have an obligation to look after the inhabitants of the city. Before Margaret Thatcher introduced the council tax back in the early 90s and put in the Criminal Justice Act, and the, you know what I mean? There was ways of which money and bin, bin collecting and traffic management was all managed, and, and now it's getting out of control. And you know, you can recall, you can rely on your inherent constitutional birthright and you can claim to be a man in court. You don't need to submit to admiralty law. You can submit to, you can rule by common law and natural law. Please look in my group before you comment and try to pull me down. If you are in Sovereign Solicitors Group and you don't want to be in there, let me know and I will remove you. If you are a shrill and you are someone who is a troll, then I will weed you out and I will remove you myself local tractor <laughs> but please you know uh, there's no need to fight this is all um, a united effort and together we are strong and united we will stand and divided we will fall I don't want to see races fighting each other different sex fighting each other people calling each other out that's just stupid you need to know the truth and you need to research yourself don't just believe me go and look at the Black's Law Dictionary of Definitions look at the YouTube videos and the links and the court recordings go and do your own research and make a personal journey like I did with my children and you will find it much more of a benefit you will be able to utilize the tools and the words and the system and you can go into their domain and use their system against them to bring them down being a sovereign independent self-governing man or woman i can't put it any simpler ignorance is no defense um, you can only get out of a contract with devil on a technicality and the devil is in the detail um, yes well no I've written letters to the PM and to the Queen and I've written statements of truth and I've served them to the council if you go to court and you argue with a black robe judge in the Vatican Court Roman Catholic Vatican Court Supreme you know 
court system that we have which isn't fair you know it's an admiralty system it's not a common law system but you can get control of the court you don't write these letters to these people once you go to court if you decide to step into the dock and contract with the judge he has the right or the crown state have the right to call you a person or a citizen i want to be a man and i want to be self-governing sovereign to common law if i hurt murder cause harm injury or loss i hold my hands up i will say sorry and take the take the penalty but if i haven't broken common law and it's a no there's no injured party there's no com complaint from any kind of witness there and it's an infraction or an offense of statute that i've committed then i can stand there and uh, i can argue that with my letters backed up if you haven't written these letters you will be a man you won't be a man you will be a person and you will be a citizen and they will dictate to you you need to assert yourself and reclaim your dominion through the paperwork and the powers that be um, I will help you with all of this. I am not going to take responsibility for your actions if you don't listen and you don't follow it word for word. So um, give me your feedback, make it positive. If you have got any criticism, constructive criticism, I will take on board and I will make corrections and I am always learning. I am not an expert. There was a clue in the Da Vinci Code all those years ago, the Vitruvian man. We need to reclaim our divine proportion yes we do that's what i'm on about lee you're right on there brother um it's a simple thing we need to do my connection's weak i hope this is coming through to you clear um it does stress me out and i am going to sort this out and i will be making recordings of court appearances of which i will be making and whether i decide to set up e-schedule and contract with the crown state and charge them for my appearances because I, I i consider this work if common law hasn't been broken then you are working and you are working to fight for your um, 2D legal fiction or your straw man as an agent of and you can submit your straw man to court or your 2D legal fiction using your birth certificate you need to have a copy of this you need to look at everything and do the research and look at all the links in there and listen to the people that I've quoted and if you need help ask me and I will tell you if you don't need help then please let me know I will remove you from the group or you can choose to leave the group um, and um, if you do know anybody that is an expert in law or that has got a master's degree and that is wanting to find out the truth and you know argue with it I will openly and publicly argue with the people you know politely and civilly and tell them what I've learned what I've come to learn what I think is right what is happening with the corporation England and the landmass England and um, go through all of the issues that we've discussed um, I can't stress it enough guys that the government is not working for us we are working for the government we are being penalized and we are being held to to we are being it's treasonable what they are doing so if you if you have problems with bailiffs if you have problems with debt arrears if you have problems with financial issues if you have committed contracts and you want to get out of them there are ways around it it isn't the end of the world you don't need to go to food banks and struggle and you know not be able to feed yourself whilst working two jobs and paying higher tax rates there are ways around stuff and you are owed money your birth certificate is actually a bond between you and the crown state itself you can reclaim that you can reclaim your birthright there are many things you can do i cannot type all this information out i need you to tell me on an individual level level what your issue is or what your friends and family issue is what you are struggling with what you need help with or what you find that you know is, is unbelievable it made me feel sick when I found out the truth and what the law system is and what the legal system is I actually nearly had tears in my eyes I sat down with my best friend of 25 years who's helped me make this indigo child channel on YouTube search indigo child as a channel on YouTube two and a half thousand videos on there this is in, in the making of this eight years research since I lost contact with my children and had to employ a barrister spend 20 grand and go to court for two years to get a court writ that's worthless I'm going to take the child support agency to the European Court of Human Rights and appeal there's a system of which I need to employ and probably go to the Queen's bench first which is the highest court on the land and then end up in the European Court of Human Rights and argue that I've suffered harm injury and loss because of the way the government's dealt with me and nobody will tell you this I am telling it you and I will basically keep telling it you and keep sharing it and um, if you don't want to know you don't want to know if I can help just one person it, it will make me feel a lot better 
Um, my services will be for free and I will help get a team of people to come and help stop bailiffs coming to your door to seize goods for the value of. You don't have goods in your house, you have personal possessions. These warrants and, litiga and litigation orders and the notices of which they serve on you aren't followed in the lawful way. They are unlawfully executing a legal system upon the sovereign citizens of the landmass England. The, the company's house website has got the political parties on there, the Queen on there, all the Metropolitan Borough Councils on there. These are all businesses and corporations, corporations, a dead entity that is basically trying to control your life. Um, so search Sovereign Solicitors on Facebook. Please scroll through the nearly one year's worth of information I've you know spent most of my life searching for and validated and now i've been able to put it on there because i believe 100 percent in my heart what i've said and stated on there is true i've put documentation on there i've put letters to websites on there that are doing the same as what i'm doing externally i've put links on there to you know people like the love police we are change manchester little sects of the country are joining up people are making their own currency in liverpool for god's sake the bitcoin's taking over the dollar's crashing, people are buying up gold, look at what JP Morgan's doing, look at what the Rockefeller's doing, look at what the House of the Rothschilds are doing, these are all the key players, look at the Battle of um, Waterloo and Wellington, what I stated in my previous video, and the way that they conned the um, sovereign people of England and took over control of the bonds of the Bank of England, it will make you sick, look at the Second World War and the First World War, look at Wall Street and Bond Street and who, f who funded the people, the Capone the Pope blessed Hitler's tanks, the Pope blessed England's tank, and the Pope blessed America's tanks. Hello, what's going on? Um, one of the descendants of Hitler's regime and right, when we allegedly won and beat the Germans in the war and quashed the Nazis, Dr. Oetker, he's, 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 he's a descendant of a Nazi war criminal and now he's making profit through making food. The abortion clinic that we have here in England and around the world, that's a direct connection to the people that had the gas chambers in Germany. Once we'd won the, the, the war from Germany, if you want to call it win, which we didn't, the Operation Paperclip brought over 10,000 people and they brought over to America and formed NASA and the CIA. There is so much stuff that I can tell and validate you on that's, that's just unbelievable. But we're going to start with England and the sovereignty of the occupants of England and your birthright, your claim of right and your in, inalienable, inherent constitutional rights which do not apply to statute law. So this is common law country and as the Home Secretary, the Secretary of State will, will, will tell you on the government website this is what rules England and it is only given the full force of the law by the consent of the governed um, so yeah there's loads there's absolutely loads to tell you guys and it's mental it is proper chicken oriental and it makes you sick when you realize the truth so um, the truth is out there just like the X-Files says if you watch films what films can I tell you they've put coded messages in there is so many this 9-11 business makes you sick to the heart if you believe that um, Bin Laden and the crew did the planes into 9-11 and there was real planes there full of people and it wasn't a hologram or a drone or set up by the by the governments at hand and you are more of a fool than the people that are alleged conspiracy theorists that say that it wasn't the, the governments or some kind of inside job. Number 7 trade centre collapsing in the middle and kinking down. There is so much evidence we have now that the government is not to be trusted, is telling us lies and um, it, is, it is a big massive massive explosion at the minute. The indigo children up. The consciousness of the world is rising. People are joining together. People are fighting to get a better world. Not because we want money, not because we want bigger cars, more houses, fat bank balances, because we're being oppressed and people are going to food banks in England. What kind of Prime Minister would allow that to happen? What kind of government would allow that? England is crumbling. We are losing our sovereignty. We are losing our inalienable, inherent constitutional rights and we are bowing down to people. People. I am not bowing down to anybody. I will stand and be counted. I don't need an anonymous mask to go out and tell you this. I will tell you my name. I will put myself forward just like all the other people in history that have put themselves forward. Look at JFK. Look at Martin Luther King. John Lennon had the best idea. Everybody don't 
don't go to work for one day. Can you imagine what would happen if the world sat back and says we're not going to work for one day? Do you know what that would do to the economy? That kind of a peaceful, non-aggressive protest. We need no aggression. We need to be clever. We need to be smart. Yes? So thank you, Jay Story, for watching. Gabriella for watching. Lee Baron Munro. Aaron B. Yes, respect, guys. I know you guys are long-time um, friends of mine. I will apologise for the amount of posts that I put up. You can see how hard I work. You can see how much input I put in. I have got a hyperactive, anyone that knows me, a crazy ass brain. I can handle this. I can do many things at once, but it has taken its toll on me. I'm 38 now and um, things are really, really, I'm going to be old soon and I won't have this energy and I need help from people. I need us to jump together and I need us to act as one united front in a peaceful non-aggressive way i will just by and validate all the things that i've said i will source the information i will send you links and documentation and i will appear in court and film it believe me it's going to be done and i will prove to you once i've got that proof because i know most of you need the proof before you will act you need to see that it can be done the proof will be done and it will be in the pudding the money is in my mouth i will put my liberty and freedom at stake to prove for everybody on the landmass england my family my friends and all the brothers and sisters that are there i don't care what religion you are i don't care what color skin you are i don't care what you live in what where you live what your bank balance is or anything we are human beings bottom line we need to join together we need to stand up i don't need an anonymous mask neither do you guys but you put one on it will kind of save you but I don't know what else to say, but thank you for watching. Thank you for being our friends. Thank you for putting up with too many bombardments of posts. If they do annoy you, choose not to get notifications from me. Look into all the things that I've said. Please look into my Sovereign Solicitors group. It is now closed. I will add anybody to it. Like I've said about the trills and the, the, the shrills and the tro trolls and people that are trying to cut me down and make me look like an idiot I'm prepared for that and I will uh, I will answer to that in a public arena I will also go into the crown state's domain and I will argue as a sovereign being and not submit myself to admiralty law about what's going on and how to fight them peacefully and honourably the judge will end up walking out and I will be the one that's left standing in the court as the highest authority in that court under common law and um, we will get this sorted out people like bullies and gangsters sending you you intimidate and threatening letters if you notice the way they word things you must you need if you do not action may be taken liability orders summonses warrants and things like that they are trying to scare you this is aggression this is a hot hostile non non um, peaceful way of scaring you the tv license the water people the child services authority any kind of issue whether you have not harmed anybody you've not you caused anybody loss or harm or injury you've got nothing to worry about and i will help you deal with this um i don't know what else to say but uh, i've ranted on enough enough now and uh, i will come back to you i'm gonna make a big one hour video for my youtube indigo child channel and you'll get the full lowdown there um that's about it i want some people tell me the one way thing so uh, I've been on holiday for a month on family business, but I'm still working. Whatever I do, I'm working. Whether I'm in the UK working, doing my 9 to 5, 50 hours a week job, whether I'm on holiday relaxing, I've always got time for people. I've always got love for the streets, as the DRE said. Um, we're not going to be gangster. We're going to keep it real. These guys are the real gangsters. You think Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and, um, oh, my days, all these people that you're listening to on the radio. Listen to Radio 1's music, the content, the lyrical content, what's in there for these young children. If you've got children out there and you're worried about how they're being brought up, just watch the Disney Channel for a bit and see what shite they're putting on. Nickelodeon. I watch these Hollywood films, Jupiter Eternal. Ending. That one, Mila Coolis, that is scary. There's messages in there you need to know about. The uh, Bible has got codes in there as well, which is where I got God created man. First there was the word, then there was the light, then there was um, um, God became flesh, flesh became man, man became, you know, of, of the planet. And then there was the, um, look in the film Noah, the fallen angels, that film's got some wicked, wicked, unbelievable. When I say wicked, I mean excellent, sorry, excellent references to the Bible. Again, look at the um, Emerald Tablets of Thoth, search out for the 12 scrolls of, um, the 12 lost scrolls. Um, what are they now? Someone tell me, I can't. 
think now, but the 12 scrolls, look for that. Look at the um, Anunnaki, look at the Sumerian, look at the Nephilim, the Nephilim in the Bible. What happened with, um, with um, who in there now? J St. John the Baptist in the Bible saw Jesus and John having a chat. I can't remember where, not in Genesis, maybe Revelations. And believe me, I've read all these books, Bibles, Scriptures, Quran in English, the Bible, all the um, Buddhist stuff and the um, Talmud and the Torah, which is the Jewish ones, and also the Vedic ones from India. There's so much religion I've researched and I can quote and tell you. But Jesus and John the Baptist having a chat. Then John the Baptist decides to go up to heaven in a chariot of fire. He disappears and comes back down. This is known knowledge to the people of the you know, gospel writers of the Bible. I haven't just made stuff up. I can source it and tell it you now. Jimmy Carla, like I've said so many times before, everything around you is an illusion, a rich man's tricks. Yes, dead man's tales, um, suppressed um, inventions and um, what books have I written? And you get PDFs off now. Dead man's tales and forbidden archaeology. They've hidden so much from us. We've had wars before and um, been destroyed and our consciousness has dropped and then we've slowly built it back up but we're getting on that level where we can tackle them again and they're going to bring us back down. They're going to bring us down through false flag attacks. So this is another random video quote, you know, session that I've done and I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I've got to go because I need some breakfast and I'm so busy but I'll look you in the eye, people, and say, peace, love, and light. This can be done. This will be done. And I'm not thinking I'm part of some group that is some, you know, super authority. I'm just a simple common law abiding citizen i have an oath that i've keep to england the landmass and the people i will uphold that oath as a as a truth seeker and a peacemaker and i will fight for my brothers and sisters okay so peace love and light respect i'm going ciao